Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys an update to my DDD Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for April 2018. Uh, along with the Performer Pal deck, I thought it'd be a good um, tradition if I were to give an update to the DDD deck to match Yuya and uh, Reiji, the two uh, main characters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. But um, a lot of you also requested that I do an update to the deck, which I've made a lot of changes to it, happy with the results. Uh, a lot of search and a lot of potential from the extra deck is what I really uh, made out for with this uh, profile. And like I said, happy with the results. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So to start off, I run three DDD, Oblivion, King, Abyss, Ragnarok. A very important card of the deck, a very strong card. It helps with a lot of your special summon and search. Um, with its main effect, if this card is normal or special summon, you can target one DDD monster in your graveyard and special summon it. You can only use this effect of Ragnarok once per turn. And once per turn, you can tribute one other DDD monster, then target one monster your opponent controls and banish it. So if you're playing defensively with this card, with its 3000k uh, defense, you can at least use its special effect to either go for a Synchro or an Exceed, depending on what you summon, or even if it's you know another bigger extra deck monster. Plus the Banish effect can get rid of a lot of pesky uh, monsters your opponent control, and since it banishes it, you don't have to worry about any destruction effects going off either. And it has a, a special summon effect. If you special summon a DD monster, except during the damage step, you could target one DD monster in your graveyard. Any battle damage your opponent takes becomes half for the rest of this turn. Also special summon this monster, and if you do, you take 1,000 damage. You can only use this effect of Ragnarok once per turn. So Another easy special summon, but overall very, very um, necessary for the deck. That's why I run three. And also I run three DD Savant Thomas. I like Thomas because it helps to recycle cards from your uh, extra deck. During your main phase, you can add one face up DD Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand. Coins you effect once per turn. But the add back means you can get cards like Kepler to reuse for the search if what you want. And um, since you can't really pendulum summon uh, too, too much from the extra deck anymore, you can make use of this card to basically go um, and grab them back to your hand and then re-summon uh, them like that. And the monster effect is you can target one DD card in your pendulum zone, destroy that card. And if you do, special summon one level 8 DDD monster from your deck in defense. But for the rest of this turn, its effects are negated and any battle damage your opponent takes becomes half. You can only use this effect once per turn as well, but another fast way to grab uh, Ragnarok from your deck and either, you know, overlay with those two cards or any other type of summon you wanted to go for. And also three DD Savant Kepler. Kepler is good for the high scale, but most of the time you want to use it for its uh, monster effect. If it's normal or special, you can activate one of eight these effects, and you can only use this effect of Kepler once per turn. You can target one other DD card you control, return it to the hand, or add one dark contract from your deck to your hand. And most of the time you will add a dark contract, which would be dark contract with the grid gate, which just has more search options each turn, meaning you just add to your field and and you add more for your search, so very helpful with the deck. And also three DD Savant Copernicus with this. If this card is normal or special, you can send one DD or Dark Contract from your deck to the graveyard. Except for Copernicus, you can only use this effect uh, once per turn. So it basically is meant to send your other uh, cards, including Necro Slime and uh, Swirl Slime. Necro Slime especially, so you can get off the Fusion Summon from the Graveyard with this card, so make full use of that. And it has the Pendulum Scale effect, where you cannot Pendulum Summon monsters except for DD monsters. This effect cannot be negated, and once while this card is in your Pendulum Zone, you can negate any activated spell card that would inflict damage to you and destroy this card. So protection against your own contracts, obviously, but also comes in handy if your opponent were ever to bring up any of those damage-burning cards. And lastly, for the Pendulum DDDs, two Leonidas. I really do like this card, especially when you go up against the um, Trickstar uh, lineup, because it's just an easy special summon. When you take effect damage during the damage, except during the damage step, you can destroy this card. If you do um, any effect damage that would inflict to a player, this turn increases their life points. But the monster effect, when you take effect damage, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you do, gain life equal to the damage you take, and then you take no effect damage. So good protection, good monster stats overall, just a good card to use. Plus the low scale does come in handy when you're summoning out stuff with your high scale. And... For the non-pendulums, I run three Swirl Slime, uh, good fusion from the hand with this card, so can't go wrong with it when you open it up to send to the graveyard and get off a free fusion summon. Necro Slime has the same effect, just from the graveyard by banishing it, so uh, very 
very good there. And you can also banish uh, Swirl Slime from your graveyard to Special Summon 1 DD Monster from your hand. So if you have any of your bigger ones in your hand, you can get them out faster if you can't get them out for a Pendulum Summon. Since most of the time, the summons you're going to be doing with this deck aren't really uh, Pendulum Summoning, but more of the other Synchro, Fusion, and Exceed possibly. And also 3DD Lamia, very, very important for the deck. She helps with so many of your Synchro Summons. If it's in your hand or graveyard, you can send one DD or Dark Contract from your hand or face up from the field to the graveyard, except for Lamia. Special Summon this card, but you banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Lamia once per turn. Just that easy Special Summoning if you have a monster on the field. That it makes so you can get Crystal Wing out very easily when you have Alexander out on the field already as well, meaning you can use her and the ex Alexander to go into Crystal Wing, which is a very good monster to have out on the field once you build up your board and have something big that can stop your opponent's monsters. And lastly for the monsters, two DD Ghosts. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one DD Monster or Dark Contract in your graveyard except for DD Ghosts. Send one card from your deck to the graveyard with that name. And if this card is banished, you can target one of your banished DD Monsters or Dark Contracts except DD Ghosts return to the graveyard. So it's good for recycling, especially if you use it with cards uh, like DD Necro Slime to banish it um, with that fusion summon gaining use of its other effects. Just a good new monster for the deck that I enjoy running. And that's it for the Monster Lab. I tried to stick to as pure of a DDD build because those are the real builds that I love to do for you guys. I know a lot of you guys appreciate when I make the pure builds as well. But moving on to spells, I run three, Dark Contract with the Gate. This card, during your main phase, you can add one DD monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Dark Contract with the Gate once per turn. And once per turn during your standby phase, take 1,000 points of damage. So another makeup for Leonidas is when you take that damage with any of your Dark Contracts, just summon him and gain it back, obviously. But the search effect definitely comes in handy. If you search it off a of Kepler and then activate this and you grab another monster you can use in that situation, you can't go wrong with depending on the type of summonings you want to make. And I only run one Dark Contract with the Swamp King. I might bump this up to two, but you have so many other better fusion options with Swirl and Necro Slime that this is just really here to go into your bigger DDD fusions after you make um, some of the smaller ones like Genghis or King to Arc with the Swirl and Necro Slimes. Then if you have the monsters on the field, since we only have the one extra monster zone, you can use this card with another DDD on the field and that fusion to go into something bigger. And also, one one for one, obviously, to get Kepler faster. Throwing um, Necro Slime into the graveyard isn't too bad either from the hand. Special summoning Kepler and then having that graveyard usage as well. And then for a little draw consistency, three Allura Darkness really, really help with the uh, deck. Since all the DDDs are dark, you will not um, have to risk anything as long as you have that card to, um, you know, banish. And we're running 25 monsters total, meaning, you know, you have good chances of grabbing one of those to banish, obviously. And two Pot of Desires. You run three ofs of a lot of cards in the deck, so you're not really going to hit anything that you are going to regret with this card. And once again, with the Allure helping out, You'll just grab what you need for whatever situation and then banish what you don't. And then moving on to traps, I run one Dark Contract with the Witch. You can send one DD or Dark Contract card from your hand to the graveyard, target one card on the field, destroy it. You can only use this effect of Dark Witch once per turn. All Fiend-type monsters you control gain 1,000 attack during your opponent's turn only. And once per turn during your standby, you take 1,000 points of damage. So a good card to destroy any pesky cards on your opponent's side of the field that you can't deal with. Plus the bump up during your opponent's turn makes it more of a defensive card during their turn as well, which is why I like to run one of them, just to have in case. And then also one Solemn Warning, one Floodgate Trap Hole, and two Storming Mirror Force, just for the rest of the trap lineup, for easy protection against some of your weaker monsters that you may leave exposed onto the field. I might take out the one Floodgate and put in a Foolish Burial, but um, that's more, you know, preference if you want a faster way to get into your Necro Slimes from the Graveyard. I still like it with um, some of the other effects, but uh, if you want that option, like I said, it's the way to go for sure. And that is it for the main deck. We will now move on to the extra. I run two DD Flame King Genghis. For this, you just need two DD monsters. If another DD monster is special summoned to your field while you control this face up card, except during the damage step, you target one DD monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can only use this effect of Genghis once per turn. If this card is destroyed by battle or if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can target one dark contract in your graveyard, add to your hand. So good recycling with the uh, gates. But that easy special summon to the field can definitely help with situations like synchro summoning, link summoning, depending on what you want to go for that turn.
And also one king to arc, just one of these. It's good in those situations to gain life, but kind of counterdicts the Leonidas you run, but still a very easy fusion summon for a 2800 attack point monster. So definitely like to run at least one. And then for your big monsters, I run one uh, King Beowulf and one uh, King Caesar Ragnarok. You need um, two DDDs for the Caesar Ragnarok and one DDD and one DD monster for Beowulf. But this card destroys all spell and traps. Um, on the field, and this one takes your opponent's monsters and equips it onto it for power. So two heavy monsters that I definitely like running in the deck. Very easy to get out with this deck as well. So one of each for them. And then for the Synchros, one Siegfried. Uh, once again, another easy Synchro summon. And you target a face-up spell or trap and negate its effects until next standby. And then once per turn, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, gain 1,000 life for each dark contract you control. So life point gain, makeup, also to get your own dark contracts so you don't have to worry about their own effects. And Alexander, I run two of as well. Um, another easy synchro to make. If another DD monster is normal or special summoned to your field while you control this face-up card, you can target one level four or lower DD monster in your graveyard, special summon it, you can only use this effect once per turn. But... Easy special summoning again, so make use of it, get Lamy out as fast as you can, and go for the Crystal Wing play. And then for the lower level ones, one Formula Synchron for Lamia and Kepler. You just want to summon in defense and have that draw power. And then also one Odd Eyes Meteor Burst. I like making this over Alexander when there's a card in my Pendulum Zone that I want to summon out to the field to use. And then obviously, lastly, for the last of the... Um, Synchros, one Crystal Wing, um, Alexander plus Lamia, and then you have this guy on the field for your opponent to deal with. And for the Exceeds, I only have one in the moment, uh, DDD Duo uh, Don King Kali Yuga. I want number 38, just don't have one, sadly, at the moment. Otherwise, I might drop this guy for that, or just take out one of the Alexanders, or one of the link options I have for another one of those. But good for stopping your opponent's cards and destroying all their uh, spell and traps. Plus, he's a very big guy to attack with, and easy to make with your Abyss King Ragnarots, obviously. And also... For the Link Monsters, one Master King Archfiend. You just need two Fiend Monsters, so make use of your Kepler and your Lamia, other ones if you can't, if you don't want to make formula with something better, and then give you some arrows for Link Summon options, um, or, you know, pendulum out from your extra deck. More monsters than just one definitely comes in handy. And also the one Electromite, um, obviously pendulum monsters, so make use of this guy as best as you can in the deck, and the Underclock Taker. If you don't have the Electromite to run in the deck, you can always take out uh, this and put in the number 38 if you don't have the number 38 decode talker works just as well with all the effect monsters you run in this deck and underclock is just good so you have that two effect monster link summon to make use of if you don't want to go into master king or your formula synchron you just have options overall with the whole deck but yeah, that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Definitely looking forward to more deck profiles coming out for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.